The Washington State Department of Transportation is making improvements to Highway 3 in the Belfair area. They're going from Highway 106 to Ridgepoint Boulevard. It's going to improve about two miles of Highway 3 at a cost of just over $18 million. Now to make room for the work, PUD 3 was ordered to move a number of power poles away from the highway right-of-way to make room for sidewalks, bike paths, a new roadway, and other utilities like gas, cable, phones, and water. This included poles that support some of the high voltage power lines that carry electricity to customers in Belfair, a substation near Belfair, and another on the Tahuya Peninsula. Replacing the poles would have required a series of planned outages. Many would have taken over six hours each and affect about 6,000 customers each time. PUD3 engineers and operation personnel put their heads together and determined they could move three of those four poles while they were energized or hot. It involved digging trenches behind the poles and sliding them to their new locations just behind the highway right-of-way. This solution saved thousands of dollars in construction and design costs. It also avoided planned outages that would have repeatedly inconvenienced customers in the North Mason County area. Thanks to the State Department of Transportation, PUD3 was able to relocate our poles, as you'll see in this video, without having to buy easements from nearby property owners. And that saved the PUD customers money and maintain goodwill with property owners along Highway 3. There, however, is one pole that will have to be replaced. That carries transmission lines and distribution cables, but one, as opposed to four, is a good deal for everybody involved. Here we are, we just showed up with the crews. It's Thursday night, October 24th. They are getting ready to slide this 75 foot transmission pole over about 9 feet. There's the guys in the air taking off the fiber cross arm and floating that. fiber so we can slide this pole and it will not affect the fiber. And the distribution, 7200, and the transmission line, 115,000 volts, is energized. And our linemen are going to grab that pole with this digger truck right here. going to grab that with the claws and then they're going to get the winch line on this pole. They're running that winch line down and they grab that choker and that secures, gives them a solid hold on that pole. That's what they will do the picking on when they pick this transmission pole. They will pick it with this line truck right here in that winch line. And by us doing this to this pole, we're saving hours and hours of work for the linemen. And it's saving the owner ratepayers thousands and thousands of dollars. As well as, we will not have a, an outage on the distribution or the high line. So that saves a whole bunch of customers from being out of power. Dennis has secured the choker around the butt of the pole. And I'm off. <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> There's D right there. And then we've got the other side has a hoist to the truck. And you've got this choker that runs down 
all the way to all the way to tobacco and it's secured to the backhoe. And they'll use that hoist to help jack that pole over into position right there. Okay, there we go. Look at that. These guys are performing this task with the lines energized. You can see that pole coming over. See how important it is for these guys to work together. Now what they're doing is measuring off of marking that the engineers have put in the pavement. And they're getting this pole exactly where they would like it. Right where it needs to be. Jimmy is back filling. Yeah. A lot of material. Chris Miller, Belfair Line Superintendent, and we are on site at the pole location that you guys just seen the video. Um, kind of want to talk a little bit about uh, who was all involved and um, and give praise to the people that really deserve this. And that would start right with engineering. Um, our engineers were excellent to work with and very supportive of our work staff, our line crews. Our line crews are, uh, were real pivotal in, in making this pole slide um, and coordinating this. Um, and kind of want to talk a little bit about the advantages of what we just did here. Um, the advantage is, is that we were able to keep our 115 kV transmission line hot along with our distribution 7200, uh, which allowed all of these North Mason customers up here to stay in power while we did this at three pole locations. By using the techniques that we did here by sliding the poles um, and not installing new poles and having to transfer the wire to this new pole location, we we're able to save the owner ratepayers thousands and thousands of dollars. We were also able to meet the Washington State Department of Transportation requirements for the State Highway 3 road widening project. And thank you all for watching, and I'd like to give a special thanks to all that participated in making this happen successfully.